Chris was on his way home from a job interview when his Kia Rio was suddenly rear-ended by a pickup truck. It doesn't look like the pickup driver even tried to slow down until the last second. Chris managed to keep his car in his own lane, but the pickup veered off into a ditch. Both vehicles were totaled. The pickup driver's insurance provider only paid for a rental car for Chris for a week, and his attorneys are now negotiating with them for a larger settlement. Unfortunately, this caused him to lose his pizza delivery job because he didn't have a car, and the restaurant's new management accused him of failing to communicate even though he told them about what had happened. Remember when I mentioned Chris had been heading home from a job interview? At his new job, he deals with no food, no customers, and he gets his own company vehicle. He sent along a shout out for his old manager Bean, who did a great job running the pizza restaurant until the new management came along and fudged it all up. Devin was headed back to work after his lunch break when he watched the driver of a blue Mazda drive up onto an island before slamming into the back of a stopped car. Devin stopped and spoke with the victim, who told him that the Mazda driver had been slurring her words and tried to give him her phone number and drive off. He told her to wait for the police. The victim also said that while they waited for the cops, the Mazda driver said, I think I'm going to jail while on the phone with someone else. When the police arrived, she was arrested for driving under the influence. Devin gave the victim and the police copies of his dash cam footage. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries. Nick was nearly hit by a pickup driver who failed to check his blind spot. Nick was able to dodge the wayward Ford, but he said he was in shock after nearly being sideswiped. Craig was on his way to work one morning when another driver decided to dive across the entire highway to reach their exit. Craig was unable to avoid colliding with the Dodge. The impact totaled his Mazda 3 and sent him to the hospital with an injured hand and bruises on his chest. His car automatically called 911 and paramedics arrived quickly. He missed two weeks of work due to his injuries and the other driver was cited for an unsafe lane change. Craig told us he would have been found at fault if not for the dash cam as the police would have assumed he'd simply rear-ended the SUV while distracted. He says, if you don't have a dash cam, buy one now. We agree. There's a link in the description to our dash cam of choice and if you buy one, you'll also be helping us bring you more videos. This submitter was stuck behind traffic and decided to cut around it over a double yellow line. When he noticed oncoming traffic up ahead, our submitter cut between two cars and slammed on the brakes, causing a bolt on his rooftop cargo carrier to break and sending it sliding down the road. The driver he'd passed then passed him in turn, leaving him to pick up his lost cargo. What was the lesson our submitter learned from this experience? Don't buy generic accessories. Mike was driving along Nikola Tesla Boulevard when he watched a wheel come off another vehicle and bounce down the road before flying off the overpass. The SUV that had lost the wheel was throwing sparks everywhere, but it's unlikely anybody was injured. Rahul was headed home. After signaling, he went to turn right onto his street, only to be struck by a driver attempting to pass him on the right. This was Rahul's first accident, and the lady who'd hit him fled the scene. He filed a police report with his dash cam footage as evidence, and the police tracked her down. She tried to blame Rahul for the accident, but it didn't work. Rahul is now waiting for the delivery of a $1,200 US dollar check to cover the repairs to his vehicle. He asked us to shout out Dan, his coworker who watches our videos with him every Sunday. Owen was on his way to a hockey game when he went to turn left at an intersection. That's when he watched a blue SUV make an interesting maneuver. The driver of the SUV came down off a curb, then drove along a crosswalk to run a red light, forcing other traffic to stop. The driver then continued as if this was all perfectly normal. Alex was headed home from his parents' house when he approached an intersection notorious for collisions. When the light turned green, a Tesla in the turn lane drove forward and struck a semi-truck running a red light. 
The collision disabled the Tesla. Alex pulled over and checked on the driver, then helped direct traffic until a Lake County Sheriff's deputy arrived. He let the victim and the deputy know he had footage of the accident. The trucker claimed he'd had a yellow light, but Alex's footage proved that wasn't true. Of course, not all Tesla drivers are innocent victims of circumstance. Brian captured this week's Tesla behaving badly on the streets of West Hollywood. That, that Tesla man can't drive. That, that Tesla Brian said the driver waved and continued driving, running another stop sign at the bottom of the hill. Bob was driving down a highway when he heard tires screeching and vehicles colliding. When he checked his rearview mirror, he saw the aftermath of a huge multi-vehicle accident. A dump truck in the right lane had rear-ended a car, forcing it into a spin across the other lanes where it was struck by other vehicles. A friend of Bob's passed the same spot minutes later, and they saw airbags deployed in multiple vehicles. Jace was driving in San Francisco when he watched a California Highway Patrol officer turn left down a street against no left turn signs and without yielding to traffic. I want to believe the officer was investigating something, which would also explain why a San Francisco police officer was parked with his alley lights on just up the street. But why didn't he wait for traffic to clear? This does seem needlessly dangerous, not to mention rude. Jace also asked for a shout out to his sister, Sophia. Ethan was waiting at a traffic light. When it turned green, he started making his way through the intersection only to have a gray Hyundai go speeding through a red light right in front of him. Fortunately, Ethan was paying better attention than the other driver was. He slammed on his brakes and narrowly avoided colliding with the Hyundai. This submitter was waiting at a red light when they watched a Civic driver run a red light and get hit by a Dodge Ram 1500. The Dodge driver had been on his way to work and tried to brake, but the wet road made avoiding a collision impossible. Fortunately, nobody was seriously injured. Cooper was waiting for his McDonald's drive through order when he watched this driver exit the parking lot using a pedestrian walkway before dropping onto the street from the curb. Okay, this is where you can comment about some people getting their driver's licenses from cereal boxes. Chris was driving home after work with his friend Thor, yes, his real name, when a Honda CRV ran a stop sign right in front of them. The Honda was actually in Chris's blind spot, but he trusted Thor's warning and hit the brakes without knowing why, barely avoiding a collision with the Honda. Thor then yelled at them for good measure. Ezekiel had just finished building his first 10 second car, an Audi S4. Watch what happened as he proceeded through a green light. His dash cam lost power in the impact when another driver ran the red light and slammed into Ezekiel's Audi. He found out later from the police that the 19 year old driver had steered into him on purpose. His car was totaled and the other driver's insurance provider paid him 28,000 US dollars. He had $26,000 left on the loan, so that left him with only $2,000 in the end. This emitter is a trucker. He was driving down an interstate highway when he encountered his first wrong way driver in two and a half million miles of trucking. He dodged to the right since most wrong way drivers think they're actually on a two way highway and usually drive on their right. Thankfully, this tactic worked. This emitter was turning right on a snowy icy road one evening. A driver following too closely didn't have time to stop and couldn't use the oncoming lane, so they drove into the side of the submitter's Chevy Avalanche instead. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Elena was making a quick trip to Marshall's when she encountered something truly horrifying. I have found the cart demon has stopped in its tracks. Time to go return it. 
Elena asked us to shout out her boyfriend, Dilbean, who watches our videos with her every week. And the cart demon will not strike again. The day has been saved. Woo!